Before pressure testing, ensure all floor heating loops have been laid and all connections and pipes are tightened. The temperature gauge housing doubles as a pressure test port. To attach the pressure gauge, remove the lower temperature gauge and unscrew the brass housing. Screw the pressure gauge into the exposed aperture. PTFE tape may be required. Connect a drain off hose to the lower return bar blue tap and place the end of the drain hose into a bucket. Connect a main supply hose to the top flow bar red tap. A number of valves and taps must be closed before filling the system with water. Close the isolation valves. Manual air vents. Drain and fill taps. And fully close the return valve manual heads by turning clockwise. Open both the red and blue drain taps then turn on the mains water supply to begin filling the hose. Starting at the pump side of the manifold, open the first flow gauge. Open the pipe loop's corresponding manual return valve, directly below the flow gauge that has been opened. Water will begin filling the pipe loop. The flow gauge will start to move erratically until a steady flow of water is achieved through this loop of pipe. Place the end of the drain hose in a bucket to see when all the air has been purged from this loop by the reduction in bubbles. When a steady flow is achieved and all air has been passed, close the manual return valve on the return bar, leaving the flow gauge open. Repeat this process with each individual loop, one at a time. Once all floor heating loops have been filled with water and purged of any air, close the blue drain tap on the lower return bar. Open the manual air vents in turn to expel any air trapped in the flow or return bar. Close the vents when all air has been expelled. Allow the pressure to rise to 3 to 4 bar, then close the red tap on the flow bar. Turn off the mains water supply hose at source and leave the system under pressure for a minimum of 3 hours. If pressure drops, investigate and remedy. The mains water supply hose can now be removed. However, leave the drain hose in place as this will be required to release the pressure at a later stage. When you are fully satisfied that the system is pressure tight, shut all flow gauges, return valves and isolation valves. Release the manifold pressure through the drain hose connected to the return bar, blue drain tap, by briefly opening the drain tap, then reclosing. It is good practice to leave the system under pressure whilst laying the final floor finish to indicate any possible damage to the loops of pipe. Remove the pressure gauge and refit the original temperature gauge. The manifold is now ready for a suitably qualified person, such as a heating engineer, to connect the water feeds and wire in the controls. For further help and advice, head over to wondergroup.com support for more videos, instructions and frequently asked questions to assist with all aspects of your installation.